And the dumbest bill in America is a $100 fine for walking the wrong way. Oh boy. A $100 fine for walking the wrong way. In the Beverly- revolution starts now, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> in Beverly, Massachusetts, a town in the greater Boston, Massachusetts area, Beverly, Massachusetts, has decided that they're gonna use their emergency powers under you know, the healthcare code and the emergency powers of the state, the police department's gonna say, hey, you're walking the wrong way, so therefore we're gonna give you a $100 citation because we told you not to walk the, not to walk the wrong way. And uh, by the way, this is the state with MIT, Harvard, and Boston College, and many, many, many other wonderful colleges and universities. I think there are a lot of smart people there, and they can figure yes. out, they can, can't they social distance without the police saying, you know, we're gonna give you a $100 fine? Yeah, I mean, hey, I have, what is it, the policy behind it's like you gotta walk in the designated one way and then back in the other? You have to walk against traffic one yeah. way, um, and that way you know which you're going in the correct direction. But doesn't that defy the common sense with respect to not which direction you're supposed to walk in, but who cares which direction you walk in? Just and stay walk away from and people. And stay away from people in quarantine. Yeah. By the way, I thought that's what masks were supposed to accomplish anyway. Well, that's what they told us after they told us that that's not what that accomplished. Yeah, so, clearly you know, it's not true. Clearly it's not true. Maybe it helps a little bit, but it doesn't help a lot. So we have a very short clip on this. This is the book. This is the Beverly, Massachusetts Police Department, basically, you know, getting all happy about how much power they have. Look what we did. <laughs> and and by the way, when you look at this video and watch this video, video and listen to it, they have those big signs, the signs that are electrified and they run off of a generator, and the sign lights up and it says one way walkway. You know, I mean, just like you'd see on a street, like construction ahead, but they have these right there on the sidewalks or next to them to make sure that you're smart enough to be able to follow yeah, their directions. You gotta wonder how many people are actually out and walking around right now that this is like a major problem they and, identified. And the picture that they showed, they said, well, they have tons of people on the sidewalks. I really didn't see that many in the picture, but let's just say for the sake of argument, there were a lot then wouldn't you maybe wait a few minutes and just stay off to the side or walk in the street, make sure there are no cars in the street and stay away that way? Yeah. No, yes, you're gonna get a hundred dollar fine. You know, when I go go for a run or I go walking or something or I'm in the store and somebody gets like, if I know that I'm going to encounter somebody, I either walk into the street and walk around them or they do the same themselves. Like it's, it's pretty common sense here, people. It's and not here is, hard. Here's the clip, by the way. It's, it's just a short clip, you're gonna really enjoy it. Here it is. Walking. Go this way, if you're going that way, and if you're going that way, you go on that side. Okay. Just monitoring the people out there, we noticed that there was just a tremendous amount of traffic where people are walking into each other. We had to make changes. We had to come up with ideas. It keeps people the opportunity to stay, you know, that six foot distance. So there you go. These, I'm sorry, these are police officers uh, that really are taking themselves way too Very seriously. seriously. Because at, at the beginning, the first police officer says to the lady, well, you gotta walk that, that way when you're going that way, and when you're going that way, you gotta walk that way. And she's like, oh, okay, police officer, I couldn't figure that out. I mean, in any way, why do I need you to tell me which direction I can walk in? Because it's a free country, and I'm supposed to social distance anyway. I like how they, they explained it like this was a ginormous undertaking for the department. They were like, we had a problem, and we had to come up with this <laughs> very clever solution. We needed to think outside the box. We needed to innovate, Mark. <laughs> I mean, our podcast stresses innovation, and, and these people really hit it right on the head. I mean, I don't know how, how we would have figured anything out. I don't know how we would have done life without this. <laughs> Wasn't it the Simpsons that always had that Irish, the Irish police officer, they had the, like, the accent? I thought it was the Simpsons. Maybe it was another, another particular uh, cartoon that was out there. But these guys, of course, have got the thick Bostonian accent the cops do when they're talking. Yeah. And you know, can you, I can just see the guy walks up to you and he's like, Hey, that'll be a hundred dollars. Here's a fine. What's your name? Your What's ticket? your address? I told you the sign says right there it's lit up. You can only walk against traffic. Don't do it again, or the oh. next time it's gonna be another hundred dollar fine. The things we worry about. <laughs> <laughs> and this is really, by the way, it's the basis of this whole podcast, which is fear-mongering, right? It's fear-mongering, but it's also trying to treat us like we're idiots, that we can't figure out how to protect ourselves. Like the American people are stupid. And by the way, let me just say this. Millennials, podcast land people, every time you go outside, don't you take a risk anyway? I don't mean just during pandemic times, but every time you jump in the car, Life is a you giant risk, risk that you're gonna get an accident. Every time you walk on a sidewalk, you risk that a dog might get loose and bite you, I don't know. 
Obviously, this is an invisible enemy, but we're told masks and social distancing are sufficient, are sufficient. And therefore, if you practice that, when you walk on a sidewalk, irrespective of which way you go on the sidewalk, it should be just fine. Final thoughts on that, on the millennial perspective. Mark, I think we should go test it out. We should go see what happens if we walk the wrong we way. Should, Mark and millennials, we should take a field trip to Beverly, Massachusetts and intentionally walk in the opposite direction. I just wanna see what happens. And we gotta record it, Mark. I, hey, if you is think- Is that $100 the, fine enforceable? If you think that the outrage over them with that that lady you know, wa- uh, opening her beauty salon in Texas, in Texas. was unreal, just, just wait, Mark. Just wait until they get somebody. <laughs> So, by the way, you get the $100 fine, and is it enforceable if you don't live in Boston? I'm just curious. Yeah, I mean, who are you? Send the cop, no, no, give me another one, because I'm not gonna pay it, because I don't live here, it's not enforceable. Yeah, well, come find me. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and what, is, what if he says, please identify yourself, show me your license and registration for walking? For walking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you don't carry your license on you, what are they gonna do? So that is the dumbest bill in America. It's a $100 fine. 100. For walking the wrong way in Beverly, Massachusetts. Hey Mark, they gotta make up the re- revenue deficit somehow. Yes, they do. One ticket at a time. <laughs> and that's the dumbest bill in America. And that's it for Mark of the Millennials. Thank you for joining Mark of the Millennials. This is Mark Fisher, and thank you to our millennial, Garrick Ross, and of course, our producer, Adam Katora, and our assistant producer, Christopher Hopkins. Please check us out on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and our website. See you next time.